Hey Web Junkies, I'm Tad. It's Friday. Yes, this is the Times cast, so let's hit it and quit it. First item. Earlier this week, we talked about the death of Vic Thomas, for three decades a state lawmaker from Roanoke. Today, friends and family from across Virginia gathered at St. Andrew's Catholic Church to pay their last respects. Among them, Governor Tim Kaine and many other state dignitaries. Lots of you out there have been on our message board, leaving their personal memories. Hit the link to read them or to add your own. Next up, business. The New River Valley Competitiveness Center. It's an incubator for new businesses. For seven years, Wayne Carpenter has been the guy who guided it through ups, downs, and back ups. Now he's outie. Carpenter, who was a banker before he took on the incubator challenge, has announced that he's leaving for the world of private consulting. But he goes with the center about 95% full. Not bad. Let's talk weather. It's beautiful out today, people, and you know it, but will it hold up for the weekend? Apparently, yes! yes! Tonight's Whoa. low, 44, tomorrow's high, balmy 70. For more, toss a frisbee with that Weather Channel logo. Next thing, Wheel oh. of Fortune. Oh, oh, yes, that game show is bringing its wheel mobile to Salem on Saturday, searching for contestants, and you too can spin that big wheel. I wonder, you know, election day's coming up. Maybe that's how we big lickers could pick our city council members. Pat, I'd like to buy a candidate. Or maybe that's against election laws. I don't know. Anyway, go online to see who's running for what. Then go to the polls Tuesday, spin away, and hope we don't hit bankrupt. Whoa. Now, for some sports. We asked you a while back if you had the skills to be our NFL Day draft expert. NFL Draft Day expert. Yes, someone does. Darren Williams. He's a Roanoke College grad who lives in Christiansburg but grew up in Nashville. That makes him a Titans man, but we'll forgive him. Tell us about the draft, D-man. If the powers that be in Houston are smart, they'll let Reggie Bush go by trading down. Bush's value is so high that the Texans could trade the pick, still shore up their NFL worst offensive line in the first round, and still pick up an extra first round selection next year. Unfortunately for David Carr, GM Charlie Casserly and owner Bob McNair will in fact take Bush, and the player known as a once in a decade talent will simply be one more guy stuck behind a line that can't protect him. Find out about this and a lot more in Saturday's draft day coverage. See all his picks tomorrow on roanoke.com slash sports. And hit the link to see more of his draft stuff right this minute. Last thing up is movies. It's uh, harkening back to the 9-11 disaster. Horrible terrorist attacks. We generally do movie previews a little earlier in the cast, but today we're previewing United 93. Now this movie, which I said deals with 9-11, might be hard for some of you to look at. So if you don't think you can deal, you might want to turn us off right now and uh, take it easy. For the rest of you, here's a preview. Two aircraft hit the World Trade Center. Just left north, the weather was beautiful. We have a plane headed toward the Capitol. What the hell is wrong out there? May we engage, sir. I am on a plane that has been hijacked. Yes, sir. I got F-16s turning and burning towards Washington. Two planes just hit the World Trade Center. Nobody's gonna help us. We have to do something right now. Colonel, I need rules of engagement. Do we shoot this flight down? We have to do it now, because we know what happens if we just sit here and do nothing. Sometimes even spring and summer movies are more than about mindless fun. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. We've enjoyed it. Stick around if you want the old V-log. Post comments, watch past cast. Till next time, I'm Tad. It's been good. You guys have a rocking weekend.